This story starts out on January 1st, 2020. I see this video on my phone that my dad sent me. I really didn't know what was going on, but let's just say Abby's first day of life didn't go so well. She was just out there looking for a mom, but none of the cows wanted to claim her. And to this day, we still don't know who her mom was. That part of the story, we may never know. So, I present to you Abby's story. We went out to the pasture to bring her back in. Tried to feed her a bottle, and as you can see, she wasn't too fond of us. But that didn't take long to change. Abby was just a fun, loving, <laughs> crazy little cat. <laughs> and as time went on, she kind of got used to things around here. And of course, feeding her a bottle was her favorite part of the day. She's gonna follow me around like no other, but uh, she needs to get out and get some exercise. Abigail, you're a pretty girl. At least she's feeling good. She spotted me, but she doesn't know where I went. <laughs> At this time, Abby lived right outside of our barn apartment. Man, those are some good times. And then came along Adam. He drove her crazy at first, but as you'll see, they became pretty good friends. He would always try to nurse from her ears. And she put up with it for a little bit, but not for long.
Adam was a little slow at first, but he finally came around. And I think right here, Abby's learning not to eat from a fire ant pile. That's just one of the lessons in life that she learned pretty quick. And as time went on, they got to see what the cow life was really about. <laughs> and then Adam and Abby had to go their separate ways. Abby got to go out to the big girl pasture where she would soon get ready to have a baby. She doesn't move out of your way. She's kind of a mess. But she was a bottle calf too. She's kind of got a cool story. I might have to tell that. Unfortunately, I was out of town when she had her calf, but I had my brother and dad send me some pictures and videos. Might not be the best, but the calf was doing great and all was well. And honestly, when I got back home, I tried to go out and get video of her and her calf, but her calf is just crazy. But as of today, Abby is still probably the most friendly cow in the whole place. She always comes up and checks out what we're doing. And I know you other farmers and ranchers have to have those ones that are just close to your heart, and Abby is definitely one of those. So I hope you enjoyed this story about Abby. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Ha <laughs> ha